3D suture technique is the uh, latest and the most advanced suture technique from the Dream Medical Group. The 3D suture technique is exactly what the name implies, 3D as in three-dimensional suture technique. Prior suture techniques has been two-dimensional in that it will only control the height of the fold. Prior suture technique essentially just made a fold where uh, the surgeon designed. However, the 3D suture technique gives much more control and function and dynamics. Uh, let's look individually into uh, what we mean by that. First of all, uh, the 3D suture technique can um, correct for individual uh, skin and tissue elasticity difference. When one looks at upper eyelids of, uh, of Asians, they could be thin or they could be thick or they could even be very puffy. Um, and that really depends upon uh, uh, the skin thickness, the elasticity, and also the underlying soft tissue. The 3D suture technique compensates for that and the fold that is made, the crease that is made, uh, we could control the depth of that crease. Um, so rather than just having one, one type of depth, this depth is ideally suited for uh, thin skin where you don't want it to be too strong. For uh, thick skin, you want the crease to be more prominent and uh, more definite so that one does not lose the fold. So in essence, we could really control the depth of the fold. The second aspect is uh, the skin and tissue between the crease and the upper eyelid margin where the upper eyelashes are coming. This is a region where uh, a woman would put, a woman would put um, eyeliners. This uh, tissue, uh, you would want that to be nice and thin uh, because that's what a natural uh, uh, upper eyelid of an Asian with a double eyelid crease, uh, that's how they're contoured. Um, you do not want it to be uh, convex in that you don't want it to be caving out. Uh, the 3D suture technique will correct for any of the fullness. So therefore, um, looking from a side profile, it gives a nice um, a vertical, uh, crisp uh, tissue uh, region where a, uh, um, uh, one can apply makeup. And uh, just by even looking, it looks uh, as natural as it could be. Also, the 3D suture technique has function and power in that it can control for um, eyelid tilt. So what do I mean by an eyelid tilt? Well, an eyelid can be low in that it has uh, ptosis, or it could have partial ptosis in that um, certain regions, it could be tilted medially or it could be tilted laterally. Uh, the 3D suture technique, um, by applying the suture technique in itself, can compensate for um, eyelid ptosis and correct for this. Therefore, um, uh, not only does it create the fold and create the depth of the fold and, uh, and the tissue of it, uh, amount of projection, it also elevates the eyelid itself. And the way this uh, technique works is that it utilizes the VPM cube technology in that uh, we calculate the vector, uh, which is force, uh, uh, in a uh, directional uh, measure of uh, vector per millimeter cube. So uh, this suture technique is, uh, is designed and it is calibrated for individual upper eyelid um, uh, skin and soft tissue. So what it does is that we can not only uh, make the fold, but we could create the fold that would be ideal, that would give you uh, a natural fold that you would have had if you were to be born with a fold. So therefore, this is the most uh, sophisticated um, suture technique in that uh, we can uh, essentially uh, make the fold 
uh, that you are meant to have. So the 3D suture technique is the most advanced and most sophisticated suture technique from the Dream Medical Group and it applies scientific knowledge and Asian aesthetics to create the most uh, dynamic, functional, and natural upper eyelid for Asians.